All right, y'all, welcome back to the video. So we got the boat out here. We're on a, wouldn't call it a private lake. Really wouldn't call it a pond either. It's like the in-between of a pretty big body of water. We have to have the boat to fish here. Also, I have fished here a couple times trying to figure it out. And we normally always bring the GoPro and also point to that spot where you popped your Mr. 10 pounder. Right there. It was one of the craziest freaking moments. We've caught some pretty big fish out here. If y'all haven't seen my TikTok or follow it, Living Bass TV, go do that. We post a lot of behind the scenes content, like our big fish that we've been catching out here. Today we got a mission, y'all. Austin's out here with me. What's up, guys? And we got the one and only six cents for the Super Six Act this month. We have some good baits in here. Now we're gonna jump onto the GoPro and explain to you guys what the layout is and what we have to do today. Like I said, we've caught some pretty big fish in here, but there is a lot of little ones. And by little, I mean like six to eight inches. So. We do not want to bore y'all today with that, but we're going to have to find some schools of fish to hopefully get a big one. So let's get tied up, show you guys what we're using. Let's get after it. Like I said, y'all, this is the lake. It's pretty massive. It loops all the way around. We still have this whole entire stretch back here to go fish. Also, going to dump this bag really quick to show you guys what we got going on. Starting off, we have some Ned Fry 4.5, with the Stroker Crawls, tons of amazing crankbaits, all different kinds. We got the Speed Glide bait right here. It was my work good in that back corner for some shallow water. We have a lot of stuff to do today. What we're going to start off doing is, like I said, y'all find some schools of fish. Also, is going to start with the old Croco Crawl. He's got one out. You see that nice June bug. And I'm going to start with the old Never Fry. We're going to fish a Texas rig try to locate some fish because that's our mission today. So let's get tied up. All right, so like I said, we're heading to our first spot. We've been reconning this place. We've been trying to figure out the best we can. There's a lot of, a lot of, structure in here but at first we did not find much at all so we really had a hunt to try to find some spots also and i probably have around four or five spots so far that we've pulled some pretty good fish off of and a lot of those little small schoolers but you got to get those to find the big and so pulling up to our first spot i'm sure you guys some little tips and techniques how we're gonna line up with these fish and hopefully try to find them first spot could have one it could have none it could have ten so we're gonna have to loop around today and really try to figure out where they're at first spot we're heading to we're gonna loop around this bend and fish straight on it it's just one massive log and we actually most of the structure we found by here y'all is just dragging feeling for it and also getting hung up on it we find out where it was and remember and then come back the next day and fish around it and we started getting on a little pattern here so that's normally how you try to locate fish over time when you're fishing new body water you're not familiar with about the spin on her we're gonna give her what she's got it's around three o'clock it's pretty hot we timed it so we can try to get some of these fish deep probably fish anywhere from eight to 11 12 foot in this one spot she's deep bowl there's some there's some big ones down here and hopefully we find one today Get out of there. Just kind of fish slow, drag popping. Wait for that bite. Right. Oh, he just bit it. Come on, baby. Oh, no. All right here at my feet, it was one of those small little bites. Like I said, y'all, you gotta, you gotta fight through these little ones. It's only pain the butt about this place. But here's where I wanted him to be. So that was first cast, got her first bite. See, she comes back. She didn't feel the hook, so she might. You're right in the middle of it, Olsen. He's right here at my feet. He just grabbed it. Just spit it out. Right here at my feet. Spit it out again, man. My rod tip if he bites it again. There he is. I got him. And he's off. Okay. Well... We're on that fish for a while, y'all. They're they're biting where they're normally not. But that's just lake fishing for you. They're always when you think you got them figured out, they move somewhere else. But yeah, they're. I mean, I'm talking underneath the boat right here. Also, might get another because he was a little bit further back. But let's just see right in front of us at our second spot of the day. It's kind of bomb a long cast out here. We're pretty much off this little cove right now, and we're just gonna fish all these different ledges out here. There's all different depths and. Like I said, you think you got the fish figured out, but they move. So we're going to start a little bit deeper, work our way in, might work a little further out. Just bumped a fish or a stump. I don't know what that was. No, that's a fish. Come here, buddy. It's not a bad one. Come here. Where are you going? Get up here. First little pale bass of the day. Pretty fish, not the size we want. But like I said, y'all, we got to fight these little ones to get the big one. So thank you, buddy. Got him? Biggin? Nah. Got him, Kearney. You sure? Yeah. He's not bad. Y'all also got the second fish of the day. Explain where she was at. Right off this first ledge. Cream that little crawl right there. Get him back. She gone. That's the second time today that those fish have bit right in front of her feet. The first spot and the second. 
So I'm thinking they're hanging out a little bit deeper today and it's actually one of our cooler days this week. So let's keep on fishing and we're gonna get a good one, dude. I got a feeling we just have to fight through a couple of these little small ones. You got one? Yeah, oh shit, there you go, Austin, get him. Get him, yeah, that's a little better, hell yeah. Going it back in, Austin slammed his nice two pounder. One bay time. Either whatever he shot is just dead or he's just target shooting. Oh my god, Olsen. Big and yeah. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. He just, no, he didn't. He's right there. Whew, dude, Olsen, it's a good one, bull. It's a good one. I need the boat, dude. I, I thought I got hung up on a freaking log. Who also didn't grab him. Hold on. <laughs> grab this fish. Don't come off, dude. I can't also get to the side. People shooting in the freaking background. Watch these hooks, though, dude, because there, there's going to be a lot of them. I'm going to try to glide them to you. You might need to just belly them. Just go underneath them. I'll bring them back around. <laughs> dude, oh my God. Look at that fish. Also, then, okay, I'm going to glide them. Just glide them. Just, just get them by the belly. He got him. <laughs> not coming off either. Heck no. All right, y'all, we just switched to the swim bait. Went a little shallower. There's freaking people shooting in the background, so we we're just sitting there talking about that. And thought I legit bumped the log, but up comes this massive fish. I'll call her seven, man. She's an eight-pound fish, but she's a little skinny. Stu has all of her shoulders. Look at my hand over it. And she's got a little bit of a belly and that freaking bucket mouth. I mean, look, look at the fish in my hand, dude. It is a freaking monster. But, like I said, she's a little bit skinny, but still a trophy fish, so let's get her back in the water so we can catch her again. We're going to put her, look how long that fish is, man. Let's go ahead and get her back in the water. Look at her freaking mouth, dude. She's a giant. Swim back off, girl. <laughs> well, that was a good one. We're going to keep on mimicking, working this bank. Fish was shallow, man, but she actually hit probably 10 feet in front of me, so... She was definitely sitting off a little bit, but could not resist that little jointed swim bait. I remember how she hit me. I know I just, I, I thought I bumped the log and just set the hook and I felt the fish move. I thought I was hung up. Yeah, we're worried about trying not to get shot out here. Jesus. Was that just shot into the water? Was that? I don't know. We didn't just fly out of trees. Fuck that dude, I'm not getting shot. I don't think he realizes that we're out here. I was in the water. That was bird shot. I don't want to yell something, to be honest. I kind of do too, but I'm, I don't, I'm trying to like weigh a thing. Literally trolling into the line of fire where the bulls just went into the water. No, wait, right here. Like, I'm, I'm going. Dude, what the f is going on at? Jesus, dude. What the f are they doing? I don't even see him. Is that, the sh is that the shot coming down? All right, we'll, we'll just fish here for a second, Austin. Old Mr. Doc. All right, y'all, it was the next day. Last clip you saw was me catching an absolute freaking Mondo. Austin stuck a good one too, and then those freaking shots, man. I'm gonna try to explain to y'all what happened, and like we just, we had to leave. It was just not that we got in trouble or we, one of us got hurt or anything. We just, it was just terrible. There's people screaming everywhere. It was just a lot of noise. People, they just kept on shooting, and we couldn't really go to any of our spots that we wanted to fish because it's where the, the fire was. So we just wound up packing up, but pretty much y'all right behind us. This guy, I gotta put something on this chair. It sounds terrible. The house back that I don't want to show them is his property, but out here, y'all, everything's pretty open. Every everyone has their own piece of property. Have at it. I love shooting too, but what was happening is that 
the guy over there was actually like shooting into a range, I think, and he was just freaking going ham. Y'all saw those were the first gunshots. And then while Alsa and I were fishing right over here in those woods right there, I mean, we just ch -ch boom. And it was, I mean, if you saw him in the video, I jumped and it was a shock. And I don't know what they were doing, but the first shot, y'all, you could literally see you know, the leaves come off the tree and then bird shot went into the water and it wasn't shooting up and they just kind of sprinkled down. It was just a line of them. So you could tell in a direction it was shot this way and then. He did it a couple more times. That guy kept on shooting. It was like they were going back and forth, and Austin and I were pretty much stuck in the line of fire. I mean, now I think about it, dude, I kind of like trolled into where they were shooting, but that was the only way we can go to get out. And then that's why, I, yeah, just had to troll all the way back and just kind of bullshit a little bit. But yeah, that's why we just wrapped it up. We're out here today just to keep on fishing, find some new spots for y'all. But I just want to wrap this video up. It was a little dangerous and. It is what it is, just if you're going to be shooting like that, y'all, you got to make sure that you're not shooting into a pond. Those people were not aware that we were out here, especially the guy that was shooting the shotgun. I don't mind what he was doing, but, yeah, you just got to be cautious, y'all. So, like I said, anything the Super 6 Act you guys want to check out, link will be in the description. This box is what was pretty insane. You saw we caught the big one on the joint of swim bait it's somewhere in here. They have a lot. I, I get those a lot, actually. So, we'll see me using that here in the future again, because it's stuck a freaking monitor. Like I said, y'all, Austin and I are out here again just to find some more structure, try to get on some more fish. If you catch anything big, it'll be on TikTok, y'all can follow me on that on my platforms. Catch you next time, Luton Bass TV.